First of all, do not apologize for asking a math question. We should always, all of us, be asking why, and it should be normal to ask all sorts of questions at all sorts of levels. So let me answer your question. So here the question is whether this expression actually holds that all those compositions of E and LNs uh, actually gives you 7. And you might think that this is true because E and ln of x are inverses of each other. That means that E to the ln of x equals x. But that is not true for all x. This is only true where ln of x is defined. And ln of x is only defined for x bigger than 0. So you have to be careful when you use this equality that whatever you are evaluating at is a number that is bigger than 0. Ln of 7 is about 1.94 dot dot dot, so I can evaluate this ln at that number. Now ln of that number is 0.66 dot dot dot, so I can evaluate ln at that number. However, ln of that number is negative, so I cannot use ln on a negative number unless this is not the real function ln and is the complex valued ln, in which case I can evaluate that. Negative numbers have logarithms, except that now we have to use the complex logarithm. In other words, a negative number can be expressed as an exponential of a number as long as we use the complex exponential. So here what I did is break this into two exponentials. This exponential to a logarithm of a positive number will give me the positive number back, 0 0.406, so it gives me the a positive or the absolute value of that number, and that minus 1 is produced by this function. e to the pi i is minus 1, and therefore this is that number. In other words, if I raise e, the exponential, the complex exponential e to this complex number, I will get my minus 0 0.406. Or in other words, the logarithm of minus 0 0.406 is the logarithm of the positive, the absolute value, plus pi i. However, this is now a multi-valued complex function because if I add any 2 pi i k, any multiple of 2 pi i, I still have the same answer. This uh, e to this number will still give me minus 0 0.406. So now we have to add the complication that I have a multi-valued function. But that's okay, because now what I found out is that this composition of those logarithms of 7 is actually these complex numbers. But e to that complex number is minus 0 0.406. Then e of minus 0 0.406 gives me the uh, 0 0.66, and e of 0 0.66 gives me 1.94, and e of 1.94 gives me 7. So the answer is 7, but using complex exponential and logarithm.